Let's look at Shaykh Al-Tusi what he says. He says in al mabsud in his book al mabsud crying does not have any problem. There's no, there's no problem in crying. However, as for chest beating, them. scratching or pulling out the hair, and loud expressions of grief, loud expression of grief when someone dies, they are all they are all forbidden as per agreement. Not only not only chest beating, even the loud expression of grief. Now go tell the Shia. Sheikh Al Tusi says that this chest beating is forbidden. Sarkha, Sarkha, yeah. Sarkha can be referred as a me- me- metaphorically, uh, sarkha, like the word that is said in front of an oppressor, for example, and not showing grief. It can be understood like this. It says per agreement also. Not, he didn't say this is my view. He says this is, there's ijma. The scholars agreed on this. Now, when we look at this term per agreement, or they agreed ijma, maybe we can say that uh, Sheikh Al Tusi, he means the loud expression of grief that consists of lying. See some people when, when someone dies, they start shouting or showing grief or even giving a speech saying, for example, the, this man was very generous, but in reality he was stingy all his life. Okay. Or this man, he was brave. And in, in reality, when he was alive, he used to be scared from his own shadow. This is lying. They're lying. He wasn't, he wasn't, he wasn't uh, brave. He wasn't uh, uh, generous. This lying is haram. This is an example. So maybe this is what he means. Showing deep grief or loud grief that consists of lying is haram. Because you can't, you can't accept or you, we can't say that someone like Sheikh Al-Tusi, Rahmatullah Alayh, he wasn't aware that there is no agreement about uh, deep grief being haram between scholars. There's no agreement about this. But from the, from the statement of uh, Shaykh al we don't understand that he meant deep grief that consists of crying. He says deep grief in, in, general, in general and chest beating in general. Yeah, so that's why Uh, when we look at the narration, especially last week when we saw the five narrations, what did we say about them? The five narrations that said it's forbidden to, to hit yourself and so on. They're all weak. So they are all weak. And there's no verse in the Quran that says it's haram. Okay? And there's no agreement between the scholars that it's haram. Is there an agreement today that it's haram? No. So this is why we say there's no intellectual way for the statement of Shaykh Al-Tusi. Rahmatullah.